your operations are the heartbeat to your business. I created this podcast to help you balance your childlike innovation with parent-like efficiency. Welcome to Daily Ops Boost. Yo, what's up team? Welcome back to another Daily Ops Boost, wherever you're listening in from. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, it's a commitment to come back to a daily podcast and listen in. Trust me, I know because it's a it's a commitment from from my side to record a daily podcast. So I get it. I get it. Uh, let's hop right into it today. Got a short one for you guys today. Um, you got to stop scaling sometimes. Whew. I know. I know it's not the most popular thing to say right now, especially with all the ads that you probably get are like want to scale your agency or want to scale your business, right? Uh, but sometimes it, we're not ready for the growth, okay? Sometimes we require a little bit more infrastructure, a, a few more processes, a, a few more resources to uh, support our expansion. And if these aren't in the right place, if we don't have this in alignment, it's going to do more harm than good. Because here's what happens is when we're not ready for growth, A lot of times, we just don't do right by our clients, by our customers, right? Things fall through the cracks, and it it damages our reputation, right? And so, I want to give you guys just a a couple pointers here of like, hey, when's not the right time to scale, right? First one, very simply, just lacking capital in general, scaling requires investment. Investment in team, investment in advertisement. Okay. investment in infrastructure. And if you have a lack of capital, there's a couple things that can happen here. Okay. One, you're going to take on unnecessary debt in order to scale. And trust me, that is not a place that you want to be is because when you're in debt, you will build from a place of scarcity and you will not build from a place of abundance. And we never want to grow when we're in a place of scarcity because we will make the wrong decisions because we are strapped for cash and, and, and we hold money tight. And when you hold money tight, you make poor decisions, right? It's just what happens. So one, we don't want to take on debt. Also, we don't want to dilute our own ownership, right? Because we lack capital. Because a lot of times people will bring in outside investors. Just be patient, okay? Thank you so much for listening to Daily Ops Boost. We really appreciate your attention on this podcast. Go follow me over on Instagram. We post a ton of video content over there that is going to be valuable to your agency operations. So head over there, go follow me. It'll take two seconds. Appreciate you. Bring in your own capital, right? That's when you know you're in a good spot to scale is when when you have a business that will deliver enough capital for you to be able to scale, right? And the last thing we ever want to do is dilute our own equity. Like you've worked hard up into this point. You've worked extremely hard to build this business. And the last thing that we'd want to do is to dilute your ownership of the business to get something as easy as cash for the business. So if you're lacking in capital, just don't scale. Okay. Relatively simple. Okay. Now, the other thing is like just kind of maintaining your quality control. Can't scale if you guys aren't delivering a quality service or product. Flat out. You got to stop, okay? Because you get one one reputation with with your business. And if your reputation is that you can't deliver the result that you promise for your clients, then the business is going to be in a very bad spot very quickly and people aren't going to trust you, right? You can have all the guarantees that you want, but if you can't deliver, it doesn't matter. So you got to maintain the quality and you got to maintain your reputation. Reputation is so key. And if you have a reputation of under delivering for your clients, that spreads quickly. The circle is small, right? And these people find out very quickly if you can do the things that you say you can do. And here's the third piece. And this one's a little bit more unconventional, right? It doesn't tie back to the business as much. But if you're feeling burnt out, and you feel like you have a low commitment level towards the business, you can't scale, okay? As, as a small business owner, trust me, I wear a lot of hats right now, okay? But scaling means that you're just going to stack more work, right? And if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling empty, then a lot of times adding more work and adding more stress to your plate isn't going to be the thing that is going to get you to the next level, right? Once again, when you're operating, from a place of scarcity and, and when you're burnt out, you're, you're operating from a place of scarcity, believe it or not, then 
all you're going to do is create more stress for yourself. And it's not going to be the place you want to be to actually scale the business, right? And, you know, people talk about this work-life balance, and trust me, I get it. I get what it feels like to want to invest heavily into your business. I do it daily. I'm doing a daily podcast, for goodness sake, right? Like, I understand what it takes, the effort that it takes, but you have to be able to balance some of that out. You have to be able to fill your own cup up before you fill up the cup of your business. And if you're empty, it's going to be very hard to scale your business. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a review real quick. It takes two seconds, okay? And if you guys are getting good value from this, just leave a quick review. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening to Daily Ops Boost. We really appreciate your attention on this podcast. Go follow me over on Instagram. We post a ton of video content over there that is going to be valuable to your agency operations. So head over there, go follow me. It'll take two seconds. Appreciate you.